In the history of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, no one has left a more lasting legacy than Bud Grant as a head coach and as a player. At the age of 26 and after two seasons with the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles, Grant signed with the Bombers. A two-way player, he excelled as a receiver and was a three-time Western All-Star at that position. And as a defensive back, he still holds the CFL playoff record for interceptions in a game with five. Following another All-Star season in 56, Grant, then just 29, was approached to become the head coach of the Winnipeg Football Club because the Bomber Board of Directors appreciated how he was able to get along with his teammates. Grant said yes, but only wanted a one-year contract. Just in case things didn't work out, he wanted to go back to playing. Grant never played another down in his football career. Under his leadership and steely-eyed determination, the Blue Bombers would become the dominant team in Canadian football, playing in five Grey Cup games in Grant's first six years as head coach. Celebrating Grey Cup championships in 1958, 59, 61, and 62. It truly was the golden era for the franchise and for blue and gold fans. The winningest coach in club history Grant's Blue Bomber teams won 122 regular season, playoff, and Grey Cup games combined in his 10 years as head coach. The Silver Fox, as he is known, would become the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings in 1967. And Grant is a member of both the Canadian Football and National Football League Halls of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please turn your attention to center field. Join me in welcoming the one and only Bud Grant. Before we introduce Bud Grant, not like he needs an introduction. I want to recognize Bob Molly, John Helton, who wasn't able to join us tonight, and Bob Irving, who were inducted into our Blue Bomber Hall of Fame last week. Congratulations to you, Bob, and you up there, Bob Irving. And now, Bud Grant, the player, the coach, welcome to the Ring of Honor, and your name beside the players you have coached, Leo Lewis and Ken Plain. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. What a great honor to be here tonight. It is, it is humbling to be here, but I'm not here by anything I did. I'm here because of a lot of other people, and that goes way back to when I first came to Winnipeg with Jack Jacobs and Tom Casey and Bud Korchak and, and John Brown and and then going on into, from the playing ranks to the coaching ranks, there are too many people, too many names to mention all of them, but I like to refer to some that I recall vividly, starting with our offensive line of George Druxman, and Cornell Piper, and Ed Kotowicz, and Frank Rigney, and Roger Hamlin, Herb Gray, an offense that included Leo Lewis, Jerry James, Dave Ramey, Charlie Shepard, multiple, multiple players we had like Farrell Funston, Eddie, uh, and Pitts, and Gilliam, uh, the names, and I, I'm here because of all of those people. In addition to that, the executive of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers has always been staunch, Jim Russell. Ralph Parliament, Carl Wintermute. There's been so many others that I, I, and medical staff that you can't get here by yourself. It takes a lot of support by other people. Gordy Mackey, even Bob Jones, the equipment man. Every one of those people are part of the team that the Bombers had over the years. And without their support and the great uh, 
tradition of the bombers going way back. Uh, I'm just so proud to be here tonight. It's a, uh, you know, I, 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 I came to Winnipeg as a, just a dumb kid and left here a little bit smarter, but I had the experience of raising a family in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, has always been staunch in our family. I'm happy to be here today, accept this award, beyond the Wall of Fame. I'm sure there are going to be many others that are going to join us as we go through the years. But to be here today and, and, and look at this sta beautiful stadium, I came here when Osborne Stadium was up. So I've been here a long time. I appreciate this honor very, very much. I'm looking forward to coming back when we're going to play in the Grey Cup. Fans, you can vote for the next Blue Bombers Ring of Honor inductee at bomberfanzone.com.